Greatness is not a gift. It's a never-ending grind. And for Caleb Stewart, it's something he's always chasing. This game is special because there's always something you can get better at. And like just knowing that always makes me want to get in the gym, always find, find a new way to perfect my game and perfect my craft any way I can. It was that mindset that led Stewart to Louisiana Tech out of high school. But after earning a spot on Conference USA's all-freshman team in 2021, Stewart saw his role diminish significantly as a sophomore. When he decided it was time to find a new home, Eric Peterson wasted no time extending an invite to South Dakota. Seeing Caleb in high school, you know, I knew he was very athletic, very explosive, and he was a scorer, shooter slash scorer, right? Could play the point, could play off the ball a little bit. And I think that's where he struggled at La Tech, where you know, I, he was playing both positions and not really finding a role with either of those positions. He went through a coaching change. Eric Conkle was the head coach, took the job at Tulsa, and he's a Wisconsin guy, and I've known Eric forever. Um, so their staff was, you know, the immediate call and, hey, tell me about Caleb. And all of them were like, yes, take him, uh, no brainer. Coach Peterson at Utah State, he recruited me in high school. So uh, as soon as I hit the portal, I guess, you know, however that works, my name showed up and he was like the first call and he just kept uh, continuing to call and showed the most interest. So my parents, uh, they trusted him as well and wanted me to just take the visit and see how it was and everything. Stewart liked what he found both on and off the floor. I think it's really slept on too. You know, you wouldn't know this is even out here unless you came. So, you know, I just wanted to um, make sure that basketball is my main focus. I didn't want to pick a school for the name or maybe like the likes or whatever on the social media or whatever that may be. I wanted to make sure that it was the best spot for me to go in the future. I think he felt at home maybe quicker than he thought he would. And um, I think a lot of it for kids is going somewhere that you can play, right? The most important piece for, for guys is a, I don't care what level I'm at, as long as I can play and impact um, the team by playing, right? And sometimes you get caught, you might be playing three minutes a game, one game, uh, 10 minutes the next, and it's just inconsistent. Where you find a home, right, and you know what you can expect every day, um, it's a win-win for both of us. Stewart quickly established himself as the Coyotes' leading scorer, but his official arrival came just before New Year's, when he erupted for 33 points in South Dakota's Summit League opener at North Dakota State. The interesting part was he was in foul trouble in the first half. He picked up two fouls, I think seven minutes into the first half and sat a bunch of the first half. And then he comes out in the second half well rested, right? And puts on a performance. I kind of knew from my buckets in the first half, like even when I got subbed out, I was kind of standing up on the bench. I wasn't really sitting. I had a lot of uh, momentum. So I just kind of, I just kind of kept myself warm and stayed locked in. And I was just telling my team like, Y'all, this is my game. I know I'm not. I know I'm sitting right now, and there's about 10 minutes left in this half. But we're gonna win this game. We'll make sure of it. It was a special night. You know, it was, things were just clicking. It was just on. It just felt good. Results have been hard to come by for Stewart and the Coyotes since that night in Fargo. But you can bet that number one will be doing all he can to spark the turnaround. He's one of our most positive guys on our team. He's one of our best leaders. He always brings that attitude at practice because he's super competitive, right? And um, he, he brings it every single day and brings guys up around him. Conference play is hard and playing D1 basketball is hard and a lot of people don't realize that. Every game is different and every game is going to be a challenge. But I know at the end of the year when we come together and when we get to the tournament, the most important part of the year I know we'll be ready and know we'll be locked in. We keep getting better every day, every game, even when there's an obstacle in front of us. We, um, we talk about it, we rebuild and we find new ways to attack it. So it's going to be very special when it comes down to it.